What is going on everyone? Common or less here. Bring to you guys my live reaction of In Zero Manga Chapter 207. Now, the chapter is out over on Azuki. We are here today to sit down and read the latest installments of the Hero Mashima Greatness. And we have to get ready for what should be possibly, I'm hoping, Mashima can switch it up and say, no, we're not going to get it. But considering where we are in the arc right now, it should lead to possibly the revelation and more in-depth of the Bloody Atmos Day incident. After what we saw with Holly, squirming, bobbing, and weaving to go inside that little room within Crow and seeing Cure sitting upon a chair just waiting for her, we have questions that need to be answered. I don't know if this is about to reveal that Cure was in cahoots possibly with Crow this entire time. You know, obviously, of course, we know the traitor thing wasn't really Pino, even though the Pino stuff, I know we had a little bit of issues with it, but I do feel like within the confinements of their character, it made sense, I guess, for it to feel the way that they did. But this was the swerve that we needed. And whether this is going to reveal in further times that, like, you know, Noah has a greater part to play. I mean, we've all felt that he's going to have some kind of role to play in the story, but how much of a magnitude it would have to the confinements of everything that is to be determined. But honestly, if this stuff with Cure right now is to lead towards that or more stuff going on with Crow, the only way I'm going to know is by reading. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let us see what awaits us. We know that Clean should be okay too. I should say this right now. Clean should be okay. Life signs were being read. Protect Clean 2022. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. We may get tragedy, but let Jin's sister prosper. That's all I ask. Anyways, let's get into the chapter 207. Here we are. All right. Loading. And right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. This is how, this is how you start the mood off. This right here is how you start the mood off. Clay looking absolutely fantastic again. Protect Clean 2022. We got the little rabbits, little animals and stuff. I'm assuming that's supposed to be Panther Lily. Uh, the little one that she's holding on to. I know it's not an exact, but it bears similarity to them. But, uh, yeah, looking absolutely fantastic in the fit and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to relax because Jin's probably going to swing on me if, if I say anything further. But chapter 207, to shine. Okay. So let's see what it goes uh, into. But, yeah, shout out to clean. All right. So now, seen from the outside. So, yeah, Laguna, when he was uh, departing, he was gonna try and help out after. So you see the uh, ship that he's inside. Clean. This is Laguna. What happened? Respond. Respond. And then you see. I wow. That is a really nice shot here because you see Crow in like the 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 monstrosity is is the Galactus and everything, just like looking on all menacingly. And then you just see the head after of the In Zero sticking out from there. Laguna. This is Hermit. Clean's been shot down by Crow. What? Is she okay? We don't know. I'm sending coordinates for her crash site, so go to her rescue. Copy that. Did you manage to save Holly? She and Jin should be on their way to Crow's power source. All right, so now going back inside of Crow after, because you see Jin's there with all the rest of the uh, the monsters. Crackle, crack. Okay, so they have regenerative abilities. No, my joints are giving out. I guess I can only do so much without ether. And now he switched. Oh my god, here we are. Here we are. Mashima answers. Are we going to be provided? It's time. Cure. What? What are you doing here? It doesn't matter. This is great. Help me find Crow's power source. I... She may not see it. I think all of us had seen it. Look at the worst smile. This man pulls the Frieza with the finger beam and blasts her right in the in the in the stomach, like the admin area. It's like what? And completely drops to the ground. Why? I am the power. So okay, I did not anticipate that. I am the power source. Or maybe I should say, I'm dead and Crow's main body. Bruh, in their own ranks, they had a Galactica. 
Yo. I didn't even consider that. I, I didn't even consider the possibility. So Dead and Crow is just an ulterior outward appearance for Cure. We're getting smarter with time, Mashima. We really are. With these twists, we're getting smarter with time. And you see the look right there on Holy... So this whole time, Cure has been Crow, technically. Dead End Crow was just an appearance, a front. While he was out here scheming. So with the army, with the Interstellar, and then with the Galactica. I'm pretty sure this might have been something that Mashima might have done before or anything. But it does not come to mind. So right now... I'm I'm enjoying this. This is this is indifference. This is good. I didn't expect a, a possibility of this thing happening in terms of him actually like one in the same, but that changes some stuff right now that I have for cure. Okay. Huff huff huff. Poor girl. If you had never made it this far, you wouldn't have had to find out. Just coughing out. Yeah, that adds me so much damage right there with that finger beam. Like Frieza right now will probably be smiling somewhere. What do you mean? Balance. The universe needs good and evil. I am good and evil. Yo, this man with a bar. Hold on. I am good and evil. Listen, Kane in the WWE would be proud of you saying those lines, but I'm not. And you see the look right, you know, the eye, even as minuscule of a panel that is right there, but the eye just showing like the fear that's in Holly right now. She's like, not, can't even believe the fact that one of her own was actually an off this entire time. Does that make sense? For the Interstellar Union Army to shine brighter. Galactic darkness is essential. Long before you were appointed one of the Orasian Osei's Interstellar, I was creating all kinds of darkness. And you see every the dragon just getting bombarded from the ships. And then eliminating myself to make us shine. You created darkness. Tell me. What is the purpose of our existence to save the universe Then we need an evil to save it from? No. Track and Joe and the... Uh, and Nero. I gave Draken and Nero their power and waited for the darkness to grow denser. Then I erased it, thus bringing us closer to the light. So it's more so he planted the seeds that he's seeing here. Because we seen we seen how Draken was defeated, taken into custody. Nero at the hands, of course, of Ziggy. But he's the one that kind of put the first steps in for all these things to happen. Like the order of the domino effect is that the, because of Cure. It's not because. Okay, then he has to have some farther greater role in this and just saying all oh, crazy. There has to be a further meaning to bind this. I don't understand what you're saying. I mean, Holly, you and me both. Of all my creations, Dead End Crow is my greatest masterpiece. His darkness is dense, deep, so deep and twisted. I always knew you would be the one to defeat him someday so that we can show. Basically admitting right there and then that he's responsible for the incident that took her sister's life and then the shame that came after with it. Look at the despair in Holly's face and even Cure just looking down on her. Bro, nah, this man is menacing. But that day is not today. I will not allow you to alter my plans. What? Well, how can we risk our lives to fight these evils and you created them? Not all of them. Ziggy and Akinella were villains in their own right. Oh. And all I had to do was give Elsie and Nox bad names to make them into villains. That's what makes Crow a real masterpiece. Oh my god. Bro, this man here is stepping up to the plate right now, hitting averaging 325 at the plate.
And right away, were you behind the Bloody Admiral's day too? He's going to say yes. He's going to say yes. I already was feeling that he was going to be the one responsible now, but now he's going to say it. He switched over. This author wants me to swing on him for prior crimes, but for these crimes now. Honestly, Kaede Cosmos Outer Space. So now it's going back to where Eraser and them are. And I believe I have a feather and stuff. Yeah, Eraser, there's something wrong with my Eye of Venus. Sorry, but save any wanting for later. I cannot accurately determine someone's location. Have Cure fix it then. All I can do is erase stuff. Which I found funny because of the names and everything too. It's like, you know, Cure is Cure. Erase is Erase. But is he really the Cure that we need? I'm speaking over a channel that excludes Cure. Jesus! Hold on, is Feather aware of the fact that he might be an op? I cannot do, uh, actually, wait, I cannot accurately determine someone's location. And I am speaking over a channel that excludes Cure. The fact that Eraser's made a look right now, I think she's aware of something. Cure's brain class ship is completely unmanned as far as my eye can see. Boy, a feather is already doing the Lord's work. We're figuring things out. No, get Eraser down there immediately. Get Eraser down there immediately. Get that man down there immediately and erase the cure. That is false cope. And ugh, now, we're, now we're back. Okay, now we're going to get the truth. Please tell me, Mashima. Don't hide no more. Bloody Atmos Day. That was 13 years ago. The planet Swan in the Yukino Cosmos. Oh yeah, she did mention before that uh, she was from there. And that's still one of the places I think we have to still go to anyways. My sister and I were there. Oh, it's time. It is time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time for pain. It is time to suffer. It is time to just bask in despair. It is time. It is time. We are getting the incident. It was a holiday to honor Atmos, the savior of our planet. An enormous crowd of people had gathered to celebrate. And then right, yeah, so right away, bro just pulled up on them, destroyed their monument, uh, the statue monument that they have there and stuff, the planets. And I'm assuming that right there is supposed to be Atmos, like the one that's the, the statue. And then suddenly a mysterious titan appeared. The life squashing, building burning, manically laughing devil, dead and crow. Look at this thing, man. It's just, even when he, like, we've already seen what he's supposed to look like in terms of the appearance of a crow, and of course now knowing it's Cure. But, even so, I, I don't know what it is, I love the design. I love, especially what's in the silhouettes, right? When it's in the shadows, I love it even more, because it's like an actual demon that's walking the realm. Over one million dead, the most deadly act of terrorism in the Yukino cosmos, bro. All oh, the bodies, and ah, oh, then here it is, here's the pain, no... Oh. Holly's sister, and then you see right there, I'm, she probably died because of the, the blocks and stuff crushing down on her. My sister, Sada, she was only eight years old. She dreamed of being a champion of justice. She was such a good kid, yeah. That fellow's emotions right now are just starting to pour out. The fact that she's seen the truth before, that Cure, one of her own people, might have been responsible for the fact that her sister died and everything that she went through afterwards. And Kira does not give a damn. Then Crow took the woman who survived. He was not joking. Mashman was not joking. Oh my god, this woman had to go through this. If y'all read One Piece and know the, that moment in Zo with Inorashi and Nakamamushi, this is that, but on steroids. This is sick. And hung them up in the town square for his sick entertainment. They all died one after another. And of course, she's probably the last one that was a remaining. Except for me. This man is absolutely sick. Now, Kira has to go. Kira has to go. Yes, that's when the story was established. 
He would be the light to eventually defeat Crow. Bro, this man has to. Bro, he's one of those like pastors that you know is capping. Even it's what is that film that Tom Holland was in? The one with um, Robert Pattinson. The, I, all, all the devils are the same. Something like that. It's the one where you know he confronts the pastor who thinks like, oh, he's talking like you know about the you know greatness and all that. But we know these capping, so he has to come in there and put a stop to him. That's basically what that is right now. He thought he was doing the Lord's work. He was not doing the Lord's work. Far from it. But I need... Oh, God. Holly. I know she's in dire straits right now. But I... She needs to survive. She needs to survive. That shot, I know, might, been, might be tough on most people. But she needs to survive. What is wrong with you? Why did you have to attack Swan? Oh. You're still not getting this. Doesn't matter where... If evil is created somewhere, light will always be created with it. That was a day when darkness was born. Yes. A, a day seeds were sown to make us shine brighter. Holly, go crazy with the overdrive. That's all I ask. Go crazy. I don't care what Mickey awaits me. But I need it so badly because Cure is really getting on my nerves. And Sarah gave her life for the derang that deranged idea. One million innocent people died for that. How many times must I repeat myself? For us to be good, there must also be evil. But good people don't create it. Yes, which is why I am good and evil. This is literally Angra Mainu and fate. Literally. the whole, Or even the Kotomine speech in Heaven's Feel. Like when you talk about like good and evil, can you judge something that hasn't been born yet to be good or evil? But even then, this is some twisted stuff. Yo! <laughs> Here we go! Ladies and gentlemen, it is holy season! You are only evil! Comes in with the kick. Oh, punch! I have to be a punch. Yeah, I'm seeing the arm right there. Coming in with the right. Bang! Smashes him. And he goes like a little spin tumble, little like tumbleweed and stuff, falling right back. And you see the look on his face afterwards, like, oh, now you want to throw hands. Okay, now you, you bow this action, huh? You lied to your allies. You created evil. And you don't give a damn about human life. Without evil, we would have no reason to exist. We? Would you please stop associating me with you? A creature as vile as you has no right to offer prayers to the stars. Oh, <laughs> With the bars. How will you stop me without your ether gear? Oh, oh my god, it's clear. Like, oh no, 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 no. This is one of the chapters. This is one of the chapters. This is one of the chapters. This is one of the chapters, dog. Oh, we are cooking out here, boy. Let's go. You see the ether coming back in, and, and, and Kirsch is like, what, Masaka? Nana? And then after that, you see Laguna pulling up. You see Clean Clean is safe as a whistle, man. Oh, see, the cover page was the Hopium. And this is Hope right here. Here we go. Please beat this man's ass right now, Holly. Oh, thank goodness. Jin's sister is alive. And right away, goes in for the whack right after on, the, on Cure. But Cure gets a block in. Kaboom. Look at the face. Oh my god, she is livid. Nah, she's about to beat this man's ass. Let's go. And you see Hermit. Crow's mobility is down. Get out of there now. This is our chance to fire the main cannon. Nah, I, I, I know. Ideally, this is the right thing. And I know this is the end of the chapter. Ideally, this is the right thing to do from Hermit. Because it's like, you have a chance right now to go and get this boy out of here. Get him out of here right now. This is what you need to do. But at the same time, if you're harboring those feelings that Holly's feeling right now, you are not letting this go. Your sister died. You were humiliated. Put on a sick entertainment for that individual. And he's talking about some good and evil. You know, this is, how, this is the way of things. Nah. People be talking about that kind of stuff. They got to go. Simply, they got to go. They got to go. My bro. Holly, my God. Finally. I mean, listen, if I get the overdrive after, because I mean, this is going to continue. This is going to continue. I don't know if she jumps in with like, you know, midway of the chapter or end of next chapter, she hits the overdrive after. I think we got at least another. 
if if we get the overdrive in the next chapter at the end, then at least I see two chapters. But if it happens, let's say like midway through, I could see it ending at the same time as well. But man, I will say one thing though, because now it's like it's starting to trickle into my mind. I would have wished we got more of the Bully Atmos State incidents in terms of getting to see the connection that Swan had with uh, Holly. But at the same time, I do get where Mashima was trying to go with it, where it's like direct to the point. Where it's like, we know the reason why Holly feels the way she does about that incident, Crow, and now towards Kira because of what happened. You didn't need to, don't have to like stretch things out and everything. So in that respect, I get it. The torture especially, I mean, granted, given what happened we saw with Ivory and everything, I don't think we want to go through any more wild, weird torturing and all that again anytime soon. Even though I would probably presume Majima is going to do it again at some point. I just don't know when and when to prepare for it. But direct to the point, I think, was the best approach, honestly, to go to it. Even though it's like I would have loved to see a little bit more, seeing like, you know, what our hometown was like uh, and everything, you know, in the Yukino Cosmos and everything. It is interesting seeing more of, like, Atmos, which I want to presume might be one of the, uh, not the Dark Souls, but, like, you know, the knights and stuff that we had talked about before um, that is near, like, Blue Gar and everything. This, yeah, I, I would like to see whether once we go to the Yukino Cosmos, which I do feel like because we'll have more time in the story, we'll go over there and see things after and, you know, get more lore, more exploration, all that. That's going to be good. But, and particularly with the Blade Atmos, the incident, though, I think... Even if I wanted to see more, I can understand why Mashima went with the length that he did for it, direct to the point, to get those feelings out the way. Because right now, the thing that matters is Holly getting retribution, getting the justice that she needs, and to redeem the loss of that day, losing her sister and her home by getting this fraud out of here. So, I'm very happy with the way things went here, especially Clean being safe, because there's no way we're going to lose Clean. You cannot go and put it on the cover right there. Have me for weeks on end saying protect clean 2022 with the hashtag. And I better see that down in the comments. Better see respect. I better see the respect for clean down in the comments because we were, I'm hoping, I was hoping, and we finally got it that she was fine. So we're getting a dub somehow, some way. We were looking bad. We were going to be on a loss. And then Ray Allen came through, through Holly and hit the three from the corner. And right now, the tide is going to change. And I say in the next chapter or two, Holly's going to get her W, as she should. But this was an awesome chapter, honestly. Like, it was one of those where it looked like it was going to hinge on despair completely, and it did. It did have for some uh, elements and stuff. The things there with Feather after with the Racer, I do think is very interesting now that because they got the hunch on it, are they going to intervene and in trying to place Cure under arrest? Or is Holly going to make sure that he's out of here, like he's done? That's going to be a conflict that I, I'm interested to see how the Interstellar are going to deal with that stuff. And then what it means after the fact, you know, too. Like, you know, I, I do think Noah's going to eventually come into this arc towards the end. It's going to have a grand impact, whether if he's going to be serving as, like, the next man antagonist or if he's going to serve as, like, that third party that isn't on the side of evil but isn't on the side of good. It's just going to be playing the neutral role uh, in the gray area rather than being black and white. But this is an awesome chapter. Have me excited for what's going to go down next week. But guys, let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. How do we feel about this week's chapter being zero? If you were part of hashtag protect clean 2022, I'm better seeing it down in the comments because we got the protection that we needed. Jin is going to be happy. Ronaldo crying gif out. We love to see it, but let me know how we're feeling about the chapter. How did you feel about the way the Blade Admiral State incident was provided? The whole thing with Cure actually being dead in Crow. That he was basically the one that planted the seeds regarding Nero, planted the seeds with Drak and Joel for all these things to happen. Basically being the domino effect for all this stuff. But also alluding that with Ziggy and even Aknoella, which again, Aknoella is going to be interesting, is that they have their own roles as villains already. They didn't need to touch anything, but they already were. We assume with Ziggy, we'll more or less have an idea, but even though there's still more answers in regards to Mother, but Aknoella looks like it's going to be interesting. But your thoughts on all that? And everything here afterwards regarding Holly, the masterclass we're seeing here. And how do we see this fight panning out? Like, are we going to get an overdrive out of Holly that's just going to go out the wazoo? Like, just absolutely destroy Cure? Or will they use the main cannon to try and eviscerate this thing? Let me know down in the comments below where we stand with this. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of Eden Zero week in, week out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell, Shandoris, so everything goes on the channel. 
With that being said, I'll catch you guys next week with 208. I am anticipating greatness because it is the Hero Mashima greatness that we read week in, week out. So, Commodore, last signing off. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy. Going crazy. I'm with the team, yeah, yeah, we going crazy.